Oh my god, the sun is the most beautiful thing on the planet. It's not on okay. the planet, is it? <laughs> Last night there was a good hour or so where we hiked these trails in the dark. And today they feel quite a bit safer just because we can see, even though they are still quite treacherous. This video doesn't even close to do this justice. Michael's cleaning a sign or something. <laughs> We've got a ways to go on the road before we get to the bus stop. But the parking lot is actually quite close. This is the bus stop that we came from. And we're gonna go back to this one. Sweet. Get to my shoy. And they drive her, they drive him up here. That dude back there is gonna use that little cart to carry vegetables up to the So it's just road from here on out. About four miles of road. Michael just pointed out that this looks like Super Mario World, those chain link fences that Mario climbs on. Well it's funny, I was just Because it's new. <laughs> Shin Katakura Bashi. So there's probably a Katakura Bashi somewhere else. A parable of life's struggles. You just keep struggling and yet you're going in circles. And you've got all that green tea inside of you and nobody can get the green tea out. And you're polluting the world. <laughs> but what you have to learn is that you just have to go with the flow. <laughs> Life will set you on the right path. <laughs> just yesterday we were up there. Or maybe it was that one of the two. Came all the way around here. Our journey is very close to being over right now. And this has been a fantastic trip. It has ended not a moment too soon, not a moment too late. It's perfect. It's not quite over yet. We still have the post hike meal as well, so. Good times. We officially have signal. We are very close to the bus stop. It. This is the bus stop. We have officially climbed a mountain and made it back down alive. I oh mean, it's nothing like after a hike and then walking on a road. It's such an interesting feeling. Yet another transfer, and this pack weighs 487 pounds. It's okay though, we're almost there. We've been traveling for like eight hours. <laughs> Four more stops. We've been traveling for 25 hours. National nightmare <laughs> is nearly over. <laughs> to give some context, driving from Indianapolis to Columbus, Ohio, took as long as we just stood and sat in a train. Second of all, a 90 liter backpack is not well suited for one of these Japanese trains.
I still think public transportation is fantastic though. It's just for this particular instance, a car would be much, much better. Michael still has his keys, good news. I gotta do something about how heavy my pack is. I can't go another trip with a 50 pound pack. I'll shoot myself. What's that? <laughs> Fun facts for you. That building right there, I think, is around 30 floors. 30. And according to Robbie's little iPhone app, we were 252 floors up when we were on the top of that mountain. Jeez. So eight of these buildings. That's so crazy, dude. Wow. We're now headed to the onsen in the city. And after we get in the bath, we're gonna eat five cows, two horses, three chickens, four buffaloes. <laughs> The trains are running 20 minutes late, which is putting a slight damper on our onsen plans. I don't know what that is. Andrew wants to get some gifts in omiyagi. Omiyagi is gifts in Japanese for people. this hole of a bag weighs. I'll pick the camera up too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that it just floats. <laughs> I can't read it. 94.8 would have been 20 kilos. 47.52 pounds. What do you have in there, man? It's just cameras. Steady cams. Have a seat. Oh, you can see. Probably weighs 15 pounds. Have you weighed it? Oh, I've always estimated that, I know for sure. I wrapped this coat around my legs and stuck my feet in the hood. <laughs> I did that, I put this on all inside the, t inside the thing. <laughs> 